what have we got? We've got caramel frappe. Hello everyone, welcome to Nixie Bobs and uh, let's talk about something that broke last night or a couple of days ago, dependent on when I actually edit this to go out. Um, and let's have a chat about something we've not chatted about for probably the better part of a year. Let's have some Thunderbirds, woo! Right, there was news broke that they have hired Lee Majors as Jeff Tracy in the now uh, confirmed release date May 18th of Thunderbirds Argo series 3 part 2 so let's really just have a little chat about 3 so far because I, I've i said it before and I'll say it again 3 flopped for me I, I lost my passion for it I it, it was the it was the inclusion of the minions in the form of the transom and the mullion and that's what we're gonna call them i don't care what their names actually are they are like they are transom and mullion okay they are transom and mullion they are everything we did not like about the movie by the way as for the human movie i am gonna look into doing like a major big part series uh review on that either way we're not here to discuss that so the very, very inclusion, finally, after three and a half series of Jeff Tracy, is I think what every fan has been wanting for a very long time. I'm glad they've hired someone with a sort of good history. I'm glad they've hired an older actor as well. I'm just going to put that out there. I, as much as I love everyone, like all five brothers have got great voices, I didn't want someone younger putting on an older voice, so I'm really glad with the sound of it. It's obviously never going to be original Jeff Tracy's. We know that. Peter Dinley is, you know, irreplaceable as Jeff Tracy. It just is as it is. One thing I am going to say, please don't record Lee Majors doing the countdown and stick it on the credits or the, you know, the intro, please. Just leave that as Peter Dinley's. We don't need that change. So what does this mean in terms of part two of the series? Well, in terms of characterization and where that story arc will go it's always been said that people believe the hood is involved in his disappearance i speaking as me and as my abduction novelist head ticks and goes oh he held jeff tracy hostage for many many years that's me i think they're gonna miss a trick if they don't have the hood involved like if if he was just trapped somewhere like they did in the 2018 tomb raider with lara croft's dad and he just learned to survive on his own i, I think that would be a bit of a cop out uh, and i'm talking as an adult fan here kids will take it as they see it but as an adult fan right here i'm going to be frank and honest with you guys about how i feel as you well know, if you don't want the truth, don't come to Nixie Bobs, because I just tell it how it is sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes I have to be more reserved, dependent on the time of day and what we're talking about. For me, the smartest thing would be, I mean, could the hood have his little eye mind control thingy on Jeff and he comes in and he's got the little yellow blinking eye, similar to what he did with the mechanic who we ended up quite empathising with at the end of Series 2? I'd like that. Uh, is it going to turn out that they go, he goes, give me all your crafts and you can have your dad back? It could be that one. That, mm, uh, Jeff Tracy would never want that, but you know. But let's face it, if this was the 60s or if it wasn't so kiddie and PG friendly, we could go all out with this type thing because my brain is just like scenarioing and you know I, I can imagine a million things that they could do with this had it not been an 8.30 in the morning time slot had it not been so aimed at the younger generation. But I think they've got to somehow incorporate that level of threat from the hood. I don't know. The very fact that we're finally getting him is great. How that's going to change the dynamic, I really, really don't know. I, I guess in terms of the remake, if you want it, or like the continuation, I prefer the continuation. I think in terms of that, the dynamic is so vastly different from the original and this is something we've discussed before one because they have modernized it from where it was modern in the 60s it was modern in the 70s as we got beyond that it kind of got a little outdated that's fine that is just time moving forward so they did bring it up to date but the fact is there's as much as scott is seen as being like the in charge one and i've just thought of something else i'm going to throw out there in a minute it's going to be interesting to see how that will change. How, if suddenly Jeff comes back, am I head of the family again? Am I in charge? Am I... I don't know. Carano. Are we going to bring Carano back now as well? Sorry, I just... That just went in my head. If Carano was missing with Jeff, where the hell's Carano? Are we going to have David Graham doing Carano again? The question for me, and I think it's something that if you're broad-minded and if you're 
a little bit more mature minded I guess why has there been the wait for this been so long and I am going to have to go back and watch the rest of series 3 thus far because I have not seen it I didn't review it as I said because I just Transom and Mullion come in and I just went no and that was it I was out I'm sorry guys I you know I, as I said a minute ago I'm always going to be honest with you I'm bluntly honest with that they come in and my mind just literally went no not gonna do that and I can't click my finger but I have an infection in this finger and I'm literally holding it out because I can't even bend the damn digit properly all right we this time in a couple of weeks we may be sitting here with no finger <laughs> this doesn't clear I'm joking the wait has been long and I mean what a year or more I'm looking at my calendar and it's the 2019 calendar trying to think when did that finish uh, I was actually just looking it up um, funnily enough uh, 26th of May 2018 so we're just shy of a year uh, since 3.1 finished now I know that it's been said on the social media pages that it can take up to a year for uh, a whole episode to be made okay take that fine I'm sure there's a hell of a lot of work goes into models and CGI and storyboarding and creating stuff like that please hire me as a writer I have to get funny little things in there you know that I'm random I just tangent you should know that by now but why has the book wait been that long you would think if they started working on series three that long ago that the episodes had been made so my query here is has the wait been so long because the reaction from 3.1 was quite negative and I think that a lot of people did feel like me I, a lot of you enjoyed it but I think a lot of you kind of also had the impression that I did and the impact that it did on me so the weight has the weight been because they stri they stood back and went we've got to do something so the reason being that maybe some of the episodes have got scrapped maybe they've changed where the story was going maybe they've changed a lot I do wonder about that and I know they'll probably not admit to that but I do think that there's a certain element of that in there. I am so open to seeing this now. I'm open to hearing a new Jeff Tracy voice. I'm definitely happy for it. I want to see the digitization of Jeff Tracy as well. That's like my excitement level at the minute is seeing the image of that character. Um, because at the minute I am um, I, I, I'm wondering how it's going to look Scott Tracy was the most true to uh, puppet character I think in TBAG and I think we can all wholeheartedly image wise um, completely and utterly agree on that but are they going to make it exact to the original or are they going to change him up I kind of want the hair to be slicked back and normal um, I obviously don't want him quite in the grey cardigan and the chinos and the orange top you know maybe they might give the others a new outfit this time around but probably not <laughs> I know you guys would want me to address this so it does put my want to get back into the series up now I know he's coming into it I don't know if he's coming into it direct from the first part of the series I guess we've got to wait until next Saturday to find that one out um or whether it's gonna be like they just blink him up at the end and go Hi! really don't know I don't know where they're gonna go with this I know where I would take it I know what I would do with it but that's me and my creation brain and my mindset of how these things should play out is gonna be totally different because these guys are thinking of more series and where it's gonna head and how they're gonna you know incorporate the character and what they're gonna do whereas I'm kind of thinking of what's the hood gonna do they're trying to be kid friendly and we know that but how are they gonna do it who knows we had 12 minutes on a Jeff Tracy talk that's probably not gonna be 12 minutes long by the time I edit this but Here's to Thunderbirds Argo coming back in a week's time or just over. I'm going to go and get a little bit more of a caffeine high. I've got a little bit more down here. Uh, I'm going to sit back and enjoy this. Uh, I will try to do weekly episodic uploads again, uh, depending on how into this I get. If I struggle again, I'm going to apologise. It may just be that we watch it all and then I just, you know, do a whole or like a couple of episodes in dependent on where the story's going because my mind does focus on the storyline as a whole so maybe we do that maybe I don't review every episode I don't know we'll see where it goes uh, so let me know what you thought of that announcement do you think that Lee Majors was the right choice of voice for this role let me know what you think I'm certainly happy with it I feel quite contented with that let me know let me know if you're looking forward to 3.1 what 3.1 let me know if you're looking forward to 3.2 what you feel of 3.1 and if you want to stick transom in the mull and mullion in the bin just as much as i do i'll see you all in a couple of weeks if we're going to talk about this again bye